So, uh, we, um, this is the week that we're doing the problem set checkouts, but a lot of people, like I'm perfectly happy if you would rather do it, anyone who would rather do it next week in lab, that's fine with me. We usually don't finish these in one week anyways. So I'll do the people who are ready to do it tonight, the people who aren't ready, I'll do it next week. Um, and I wanna do a couple more um, example problems. Uh, remember, we've been talking about using Newton's third law with systems, like whole combinations of, um, of objects in contact with each other. Uh, I wanna give one problem for you to work on together, and um, then I wanna do a problem that's related to um, this week's lab. Uh, it's, it's how you do the calculation that goes along with this week's lab, and that's what you'll be doing next week in lab. So, okay. So let's say that we have pulley here, a pulley here, a pulley here, and two carts. Cyril, do you, are you an occupational therapist or anything? Okay, Need, no one here is either. <laughs> I hope any one of you who, who gets your license while this class is going on, let me know this semester. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently the biggest determiner of whether you'll get one or not. Um, okay, and let's say this is 60 kilograms, and let's say this one's 50 kilograms, and let's say that this cable that's going through these pulleys um, has a force applied to it of 250 newtons. And I want you to first calculate the acceleration vector. Um, and then calculate the force vector on the 50 by the 60. And um, once you get that, it's pretty easy to get the force vector on the 60 by the 50. Okay. So. So first of all, I guess before um, before I turn this off and you guys work on this together, uh, this crazy system of pulleys, um, I sort of just drew that to illustrate a point. Um, the tension in the cable has to be the same as long as the cable is only going through pulleys, okay? No matter how many pulleys there are. So, I could have just, I could have just had this top pulley had that 250 newton force going down there, and it would have been the exact same problem as if I drew a hundred more pulleys at all these different angles. Okay, so um, what you get here is a cable tension of 250 newtons, and then you're going to use that to calculate these. Okay, so. Um, what are you going to isolate to calculate the acceleration of this system? Yeah, both of them together, exactly. So um, take a few minutes, work on this together. Try to draw good free body diagrams. Um, I think uh, the real benefit of working on this together and then me doing it after is that you can see what you're doing that 
is right and where you're doing things that you shouldn't do. And that's really helpful, especially with free body diagrams. Um, so, you know, pay attention to the free body diagrams as you do them.